Hi there. Um, anyone who's seen my last video with the Hubson 501S will remember that I fitted an on-off switch so that when you put the battery in you didn't have to do all that fiddling around with the wires. You could put the battery in beforehand when you're ready to go. You flip the switch and it's ready. As simple as that. Um, one person made a comment, what a silly place to put the switch. It's going to hit the props. Well, I can assure you that um, I had thought of that. And there's a big gap between the props and the switch. So that's not a problem. Since then, I've added legs because I wanted to add a camera, another, an extra camera. I had to put legs on. And then there was a tendency when landing for it to always fall forward or backwards. So I've added little light aluminium uh, extensions that stick out either end of the legs. I mean, that way <laughs> it lands badly. It can't fall over. Then, of course, the camera. Um, the Hubson's got a, a limitation to what it can carry. So I couldn't put a, a full gimbal on there. So I bought one of these little plastic things you can get on eBay. And there's two types. This one looks a bit more professional because <laughs> it's got little dampers. But I found out they didn't make any difference really to this one. But also because it's got a clamp and you can only set the camera to a predetermined angle, which really didn't help with the uh, f the flight. So what I bought was this little one here, about the same price, only two or three pound. And instead of the screws being tight in the side, I've got them slack so that this can swivel. I put a tiny piece of lead on the bottom to make sure it knows <laughs> where the bottom is. And because the advantage is now, when it's flying, it swivels with the flight. Not as good, good as a, um, a full-blown gimbal, but when you consider we've got limited power, adding weight you're going to lose a bit of a flight time, but then if you just want to take pictures you're not too worried whether you're going to lose five minutes or so are you? But the one thing of course, as the drone used to move around um, with a built-in camera, it would immediately move with the flight. With this little one, as you can see, it's going to swivel and take away a lot of the movement of the camera. So there you go. That's all it is underneath. The little thing takes a camera the size of a GoPro and moves with the height fly to the drone. Um, hope you like that little mod. Um, there we go. So, Hubson 501S, switch to save fiddling around with all the wires, legs fitted underneath, so we can fit a camera underneath, little self-centering little gimbal, and there you go. Now it's your turn. Bye.